Hi everybody, Amber here with Attaboy Animal Care. Woo, it's been a few months since I've been on camera. And let me tell you, life gets in the way sometimes of doing business, I swear. If we don't talk about that, we're doing ourselves a disservice. Not only am I a professional pet sitter and I own a professional pet sitting and I'm trying to be a cool YouTuber and kind of teach other professional pet sitters what to do because learning from others is the best way to learn, I feel like. But I'm also a human mom of human children. I have animals myself, I have a husband, and I have my own medical issues too that get in the way. And if you don't know, I um, am, my name is Amber Van Denzen. I'm the owner of Attaboy Animal Care, veterinary nurse of 13 years prior as well, animal degree, uh, animal science degree from University of Florida, all that fun stuff, certified professional pet sitter. But I also, hi, my name's Amber. I love weird teas. I love traveling on weekends. I have two autoimmune disorders um, of Hashimoto's um, and chronic eukaryotosis. Um, and I'm going through a mold toxicity issue that I had, uh, issue that was recently diagnosed from a, another uh, long time ago apartment that we lived in many years ago. Um, I have a daughter who has scoliosis. I have a son who's adopted through foster care who has some needs himself and <laughs> life gets in the fucking way, doesn't it? So the past two months, I've had to be on high dose steroids which made me add some extra chunk of lunka to my lover. And so because of that, I've gotten super self-conscious about being on video. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. I redid this video three times already. I'm a little nervous. I'm a human, I'm allowed to be. Um, but today I thought it was a great time to video because I just did branded photo shoots today in my own home with a little chunk added, with a little double chin vibes. And I was, you know what, this is me. This is who I'm meant to be. Um, gotta love that phrase and I'm okay with it and I need to move on from it. So today we did branded photo shoots for Attaboy. And when I was doing that, I thought, oh my gosh, I was trying to figure out what I needed to do. I bet other people have gone through this before too. So today I'm gonna talk to you about why you may want branded photos for your business, how to prep for branded photos. And then I'm gonna show you a few, I'm gonna walk around vlog style around my house and vlog style around my house. And I'm gonna show you some setups we did throughout the home, how I prepped the home of my own home to get this vlog, you know, uh, video and also the branding photos ready to go and see if that helps you as well. So let's get started. First and foremost, when I was debating if I wanted branded photos, I said, is this necessary? Do I want it? Can I DIY it? Or do I have to hire somebody to do it for me? So the first thing I did is I've always done DIY photos. I've maybe met my sitters that I have on my team at local clients photo uh, houses did some photos while they were in action with client permission, of course. Um, I may have done some DIYs for myself or a staff while at their training, I take headshots of them. Um, but I really wanted to go next level where after doing that for 10 years, let's do some professional branded photo shoots. So what I first did was ask around to learn about other professional photographers that do branded photo shoots because this is very much a niche thing. Not all photographers do it. The second thing I did was reach out to other pet sitters that I've seen have branded photos locally and ask, hey, do you have a recommendation to photographers? And they said, yes, yes they do. Um, and then I decided, what do I want these branded photos to look like? So I took to Pinterest, I took to Facebooks of other professional companies, and I even put on Facebook um, some professional pet groups asking, let me see your branded photo shoots because I need some branded photos too. And I got an overwhelming response. Oh my gosh, thank you everybody that showed me them. Um, I got to see a lot of people that were really just one-on-one -on -one with their pet, um, showing that human animal bond and its purest self outdoors indoors most likely with their own pets um, maybe some with client pets and it was great but that wasn't necessarily what I needed because I'm not necessarily the pet sitter anymore I'm more the owner and I needed things that were more just color-coded branded with our logos and maybe even have other staff involved I did have the plan I have a staff member here today to do the photos something went awry she wasn't able to make it so I had to make do lucky me, and be a part of a lot more of these photos than I expected. But a lot of them were primary focused items with the coloring in the background. And I was very clear with the photographer, this is my limitations, this is what I'm nervous about, this is what I'm sensitive about, please tug on my shirt, please fix my hair, please tell me if my pants need to be pulled up a little bit or whatever, and had the open conversation from the with the photographer from the beginning, which worked beautifully. Um, then we, I decided, okay, I sent, after looking through all these, I saved the ones I really enjoyed and I sent them to the photographer saying, hey, these are the top 20 shots that I really wanna try to mimic 
or recreate or have a version of for our business in the setting that I have. And then I took some basic photos of the layout of the land and sent them to the photographer so she kind of had an idea of what she was walking into versus blind. Because just like we do meet and greets, we want to walk into that house and kind of get a lay of the land. So do the photographers and that worked out wonderfully as well. Then I went to shopping. Uh, now, surprise, my house is not nor normally attaboy purple and yellow themed. It is a variety of things throughout the year, usually seasonally decorated. So I had to take away all my Valentine's Day stuff right now to do this branded photo shoot, which took a lot of time. And then I had to take to shopping for things that I didn't already have. I had some purple stuff already because I love purple. I'm not a huge fan of yellow most of the time, so I had to go buy some yellow stuff. What did I do? Amazon, local stores, pet stores, and online pet stores as well to get the things that I really wanted to portray in our photos. And so let's get started. I first did some quick uh, pillow covers, Amazon. I already had the purple blanket. I have another yellow blanket over there that I took to Amazon. I went to our local pet stores to get some. I was looking for a yellow Frisbee and shoot, I couldn't find the yellow Frisbee for the life of me. So I ended up doing this clear white glue and dark one from local pet store doggy bag. And then just took some vinyl and put our logo on it. They were also able to provide me a free snacky treat bag that looked great in photos behind the scenes. I grabbed some um, color coded purple, different pur purples and yellow vibe things. Yes, this massive tennis ball, listen, Listen, this massive tennis ball is a game changer. I put a logo on it as well. This was perfect. Where did I find this, you ask? Five below, five dollars. My dog is gonna love me afterwards if I let him have this. I actually bought two, I'm not gonna lie, he already has one. But if he gets a second one, he'll even be more elated. And then of course I gathered all my marketing materials that I already had available and created from previous. And then I did other things like showcase things of supplies we want our clients to have, like lock boxes, and we put a quick sticker on it, and I used a brand new one so it looked really nice and clean in photos. And then I grabbed other things that are routine for us, like poop bags, but I made sure to get it in our colors, which typically I wouldn't use this one because they're kind of cheap, but they were purple, so they did the job. And then we also have some medical stuff that we do, so I made sure to find a purple glove. This took a while. This, this took a while. This may, be, this, this may be a little extra, okay? I had blue, I had black, I had clear. I, luckily my collection already had a purple one randomly sitting there, so this will be in my photo bin forever so I don't accidentally use it. So with that said, I wanted to recreate photos that show behind the scenes while we were doing visits, behind the scenes, office type preparing, scheduling, things like that. Um, and then um, pet specific care needs to cater towards clients to showcase that we do take care of certain pets besides just dogs and cats because I feel like most of our marketing materials as pet sitters are those and really a majority of my clientele are cats and small animals which is crazy right so I'm gonna walk you around our home I'm gonna show you some key setups that we did some tips on those setups and things to look out for and prepare for and maybe I went a little bit overboard some things are not visual like clearly in the photos that we took but for me it made me happy and I just pulled from a lot of stock that I already had anyways so Let's get started. <laughs> the first setup we had here was actually on this chair. I don't use a desk um, for my home office. I actually prefer sitting on actual comfy things. So I tend to use some type of pop-up table with my laptop and a comfy chair. I added this per uh, yellow blanket. I made sure there was a logo branded sticker on my computer. I even have these cute, look at these, cat themed um, stickies and then I had some business cards in the corner for some close-up shots. A lot of these photos ended up being me in the background working like this. I was blurred out. It was focused more on the computer and I was looking down not necessarily at the computer the entire time for this type of shot. Let's go to our next spot. Our next spot was actually right around the corner. We were here and now we're here and we use my aquariums that I have in my office or my house. Uh, to showcase aquarium care. And what we did with these is we actually used the logo on the back of my shirt a lot more in different angles while I was showing the fish. And yes, I got self-conscious, okay? But the photographer <laughs> angles are all your friends. It was fine. <laughs> but we were able to showcase the fish aquariums and how we care for them. Then we moved directly over here to the other aquarium, did a different angled shot, and then we we're able to showcase Again, the logo on the back of my shirt while I was feeding the fish. Worked out beautifully. Made sure things like this, um, like plant uh, pet stuff, was not in the shot as well. So it was nice and clean and crisp through the whole shot. 
We then switched over here doo -doo 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 -doo, and then went into the kitchen area. I made sure to add a yellow runner. We have some purple and yellow flowers in that vase here, but this was mostly sh used for close-up shots, which I'll show you next. Let's walk on over. We ended up grabbing some materials that were related to pet care. I grabbed some purple and yellow uh, treats, purple and yellow, as you see the theme going on, toys. We had our treat bag already created and some leashes. And we did some more aerial shots with this. So it kind of went whoosh and did versions of this. So I could use for cover photos and things of that sort, background photos um, for items that we may need online. We then went over to the other side of the table. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then we did kind of like the Lakeland themed item because we're in Lakeland. So we tried to find something local to our community, which I found this cute bag. And then we did this aerial shot of all those items. And it was kind of like the new client ready to go, going out with their dog, maybe themed baggies, um, which we had our brochures, new client folders, some treats, some leashes. I found these cute bows and I put this on one of my doggos that's a identifies as a girl, I think. <laughs> and then we um, put the logo on there. Um, so that was really cute and ready to go. Then we went to the kitchen. Oh, my kitchen, welcome to my kitchen, my green kitchen. We did a lot of photos that were farther away in this type of setting. We did photos like this. I have some treats right here. We have the yellow towel hanging on the oven. I already have some yellow canisters on my countertop. Those are actually my grandma's, my dad's mom who passed away. Those are from like the 60s love them and we did a lot of like food prep type of um photo shots here or me more in the background kind of in action dealing with photos of props and things of that sort um, then we after that we made sure all the countertops were super clean ready to go not much clutter on them yes there's a lot of chef stuff shoved in my cabinets right now don't judge me and then we walked on over here and we did some more up close shots. We gathered some purple and yellow, wee, purple and yellow themed um, puzzle feeders and licky mats. And then I also grabbed some, I already had some ready to go buddy butter that was in a purple theme. And then I had this ready to go. And the fun thing about these close up shots is the detail work. So this is actually not open, right? But I didn't want to open it just for this photo shoot because I wanted to donate it. Um, so I actually ended up using the angles to my advantage. And when I was taking the photos, my hand was kind of covering this. I had a fork or knife, a fork knife in this section to make it look like it was actually open. And I was getting ready to spread it onto this licky mat. Um, and then I made sure like my bracelets and stuff were neatly organized and my nails were clean and all that fun stuff. We then moved and we did some close-up shots of kind of like this items in the background. And we did some more angular shots where these were focused, this was blurred in the background and this can showcase things like I wanna do posts on sensory items and ways to keep your pet entertained while you're away. We then moved to the kitchen sink. Now I have chickens myself, lucky me during this chicken egg crisis. So we did actually do some facial shots with me holding chicken eggs, very simply kind of homesteady vibes, um, just showcasing eggs and yes, we do take care of chickens. Then we use this sink again to showcase simple tasks that we do like washing bowls. I used a simple silver bowl instead of a color coded one because this is what I had. This is my dog's own bowl. I used a clean, brand new basically type of sponge. We did have the water running. So let's look at that. And what we did is this shot kind of looked like this where the water was running. You could see my logo and I was washing the dish. Now this portion I'm a little sensitive about. I don't like seeing that over there. So she actually will cut out the photo from here over. And then it kind of like shows the important details that I cared about personally as a sensitive human being. <laughs> we then went and finished the kitchen and then we went to the other two areas that we have pets in my home, which is my children's rooms. Dun da da, yes, don't judge me on my children's rooms. They're a hot wreck, but let's go look at them right now. We first went to my son's room, which we have a terrarium with a green anole lizard in here. I don't know if he's gonna showcase himself, but what we did, is we tried to avoid seeing other stuff in the background. I did move this lava lamp over, although it is badass. I don't think it was in the shots. It may have been, I don't know, let's find out later. Um, and then we did some simple shots again that were farther back, 
like that. You could see the logo of the shirt. You could see the terrarium. And then it looked like I was feeding him or spraying down his enclosure for hydration purposes. It showed the proper setup of a terrarium with the lights, the heat, the water, the humidity, the live plants. And if we look really closely, he's right up there. <laughs> and so we did photo ops of terrariums to try to showcase to um, reptile and amphibian clients as well. We then went to my daughter's room, who actually had to be here today because she has um, had a drug reaction to some pink eye medication. And now she has a cough, as you can hear. Thank you for showing that off, Aria. Much appreciated. <laughs> We, she actually has a hermit crab enclosure in her room. So we actually did some up close and personal shots where we got really close, had the attaboy like um, arm showing with the purple and yellow. And then if you look, I did some extra details. I put some purple colored actual flowers in there from a plant I have in my backyard that my hermit crabs can eat actually. And then I showcased the hermit crab next to the food with the purple flowers. Yes, that may be a little extra, I admit, but I had the opportunity, so why wouldn't I take it, right? <laughs> so that shows places like we did. Now, don't judge this because now it's all cleanup time, but we had our office setting. We had our couch setting. We had our aquarium setting. We had our up close and photo personal with the dining table. We had the farther away kitchen area, and then we went outside. Now, I'm not going to go outside because Florida decided to be like 90 degrees today or 89 degrees or something ridiculous in the middle of uh, February 1st. But we went outside and I have turtles and chickens. And that's where I did a lot of branded with my actual face, pets up close and personal like this maybe. And then the logo in the background, the color shirt in the background. And I did switch out of this shirt through multiple shots into a white shirt and a black shirt with our branding on it as well to get some versatility in our photo shoot. After that, she took some up close photos of the dogs with the balls, with the toys, with the bandanas that we had created with our logos on them to get some branded shots of dogs. Now I don't own cats right now, uh, but maybe my next time I do this photo shoot, I do it at a client's home with cats, which I think is gonna be astronomically more difficult because if the cat wants to comply or not is up to them. <laughs> um, but I would love to get some cat photo shoots and of course with staff, other staff as well. Um, why do we think we need branded photos? Clientele, want, you want to be able to clientele to recognize your brand um, and your company no matter where they go. If they see yellow and purple in my community, I hope they think of Attaboy because there's no other company that really uses those colors locally. Um, I want them to be come and get used to my doggy head logo that we have for our main branding that we created, which is actually a B in the, the, the face if you look at it, that is actually a B uh, for boy. Um, at a boy, and I want them to passively train their brain into recognizing my brand wherever they go. So if that's on my website and my social media, or it's on the side of our vehicle, company vehicles, whatever that looks like. So branded photos do that. And by doing slow tinges of the color in different photos throughout, that will slowly train their brain to recognize attaboy and then it's going to become a common thing when brains start recognizing patterns that sends endorphins and good vibes to your brain so when like when you watch a movie multiple times and you really like the movie the brain likes watching it repetitively because they knows what's going to come so it's kind of a psychological thing so if we constantly showcase our branding colors in photos passively that's going to help our clients start getting that good vibe dopamine hormone pheromone not pheromones wrong one uh you know good vibes getting sent to their brain so ultimately they'll appreciate our company more now the question is amber branded photos can be so expensive so expensive but can't they can yeah they can just like anything else there's in professional pet sitting in photography and even doctor's offices, the tiers of pricing can be vastly different depending on who you go to. Um, sometimes you find good deals because they're showcasing them. Sometimes it's within a budget because you really want that type of vibe or look or work with that certain professional that it makes sense for you financially to invest to use that professional. Um, 
for an example, for me, what I saw ranging was average of 350 to 550 per photo session that lasts 30 minutes to an hour approximately with 10 to 20 edited photos back to you as the average I tended to see. There were ones that were much higher than that, 1,000, 1,500 or plus, of course, depending on time, location, quantity of photographers available, assistance, things of that sort. Um, I actually ended up working with a photographer that we use for our personal photos that actually hasn't done branded photos a ton before. And she actually wanted to practice her skills. So we had an agreement and our price was way lower than average uh, for this first time so we could both kind of learn and figure out how we wanted to work this and she openly admitted i can't guarantee that they're going to be the best i said well they're going to be better than my diys at least so next level step right <laughs> and i wanted to see if i liked them to see if they actually use them to see if i want to invest again um, in them in the future as well so again location could be as simple as outside at a park could be at a client's home could be at your personal home if it can accommodate such photography uh, opportunities you could choose to invest in and colored props you could just use what you have and keep it simple um, you could choose to invest in a couple photo props uh, that are color coded towards your clientele to pop I've seen people even change their shoe color or hat color or even jewelry color to match um, some accent colors from their business um, or they just did nothing at all and just use clothes that were personal to them if they're a person that's always in leopard print they took photos in leopard print because that's who they are and that's great be who you are or what your business wants to portray oh look at there's river or what willow sorry uh willow hanging out back there um showcasing his hideaway bed um make sure they who they are what you want them to be and ultimately it comes down to if you're happy and it's what you need now have i done this before with my own personal camera yes have i done this with my phone yes and i have a variety of those photos and that's what this came down to is i already had those I wanted something else now. So I hope this helps you guys figure out if you want to do branded photos in the future for your uh, company. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Be sure to be on the lookout on the Attaboy Animal Care Facebook or Instagram page because I'm sure in the next few weeks we'll start using these branded photos in our social media vibes to start showcasing, which I'm really excited about. And I already was talking to the photographer before we leaving, like, oh, we can do it at this iconic place in our town or this iconic mural in our town. We're known for swans, so maybe in front of swans or something like that. So I'm very excited for what this potentially can bring in. It's just another step in your marketing arsenal, I feel, for anything that you may need to use, whether it's printed materials, social media, websites, or other. Um, and this is another step in your business game and upping that business game to next level. I hope you guys have a great day. And as I always say, happy pets, happy people. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>